Hey guys, it's me Will Patterson here and here is a new video. I am not using my camera because it's so dark in my room you will not be able to see anything and plus I'm getting ready for my office change which is going to be absolutely flipping awesome and I can't wait. But I wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how to create uh, this logo. Now I'm not going to be focusing on the colour or anything like that in this tutorial. I'm just focusing on the A here, the basically the logo right here in the centre. We're going to focus and see um, how we create this and you may think this is easy but this is sort of for, for a beginner uh, in logo creation. Now I got this uh, task assigned to me by my youth ministry at uh, Influence Church and they told me to create a logo for Elevate Academy which is basically uh, for people who want to grow more in their ministry at church and to learn more. And I was uh, wondering about the new brand that we're going to be bringing out and I wanted to keep it the same uh, ideology as the brand that I'm bringing out or the sort of the same consistency as a brand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this uh, really quickly and you can sort of use this if you want to use the style. You can't use a logo because it's mine, but you can use the style. So I'm going to go create a new document in Command N. Uh, I'm going to go 500 by 500 pixels. Yeah, everything is fine there. I'm just going to call this a logo. Just like so and then what I'm going to do uh, is uh, I'm going to bring um, some lines in just like so and I'm the way the reason why I bring in the, the line tool is because um, a lot of people say why don't you just press command R and drag a guide out and that's because you can't get directly into the center because I don't know how to do that yet um, I need to work that out but basically I just bring out a line a path and then I'll just get rid of my rulers uh, and then I highlight it and then I go to my line objects and it's horizontal, vertical. And then um, I basically press Command F, C, and then I press Command F, press E to get my free transform mode. And then because it's duplicated, it'll create another one. Then I'll select them both and go to Command 5 and that makes them into guides. And you know that's directly in the center. Right, and I'm going to make another shape. So the, the way that we got this shape uh, or this sort of shape is like a hexagon sort of shape and we go into shapes here polygon tool um how many sizes that? it's about that it's about that isn't it so i'm going to just go ahead and just bring that out from the center by holding shift um and bringing it from the center and that's been easy so i'm going to just twizzle this around pressing e holding shift i'm just going to twizzle it hopefully so it points at the top and I know that's not exactly what this one was, is it? Yeah, it was. Yes, it was. Awesome. That's great. Uh, and then instead of like uh, creating another um, shape like that or filling in the shape and then taking it away, what I'm going to do is I'm simply just going to bring up the weight value of the stroke to about, let's say, 20 for now. That sounds good. And I'm just going to curve. Um, I'm going to make it so the corner cap is round or what's it called here yeah round joint so that so it's not pointy it's just it's a round joint uh, and then we can keep it like so we can make it more rounded with effects and that later on but there is the general uh, thing there now that is a path so that's one path and you can change the anchor points of this like so you can do loads of stuff with that that looks pretty decent right there already but whatever um but the way that you expand this, and I would say it's a cool way of expanding it, is going to object and expand. And then I'm going to uh, either expand the fill of the stroke. That's one way you can do it. Uh, the easier way, actually, is just to go to object path uh, and then outline stroke. And it'll basically expand the stroke for you and make it into just one shape. So now you've got multiple paths connecting it. Then I'm just going to press T and then click in the center somewhere. Hold shift down, make a capital A, command and enter. Uh, and then I'm going to bring up my character a menu there. But I'm going to just uh, expand this up a little bit. I'm doing this by pressing shift and alt at the same time, which expands it from the center. And then I'm just going to change this, uh, this font of this, and get rid of my guides as well um, by pressing command and semicolon. I'm going to highlight my text and then I'm going to choose a mensch. I think it's mensch, isn't it? I don't know how to pronounce it. Mensch. Uh, I'm going to choose bold. No, I'm not. I'm going to choose regular for now. And then that looks good to me, I think. Then I'm just going to bring it up. 
Oh, we could choose bold, actually. Let's see how bold looks. It's a bit too bold for me, actually. Uh, we'll just choose regular for now. What does it inline look? That looks pretty cool in itself, but we'll just choose very regular. Sorry. Uh, and then we've got that, okay? Now, you see with this, I've actually edited this quite a bit. Uh, I brought it down a bit uh, because I wanted it to be bold but come down and stuff. So I'm actually just going to add a stroke to this to make it bold um, or a bit bolder. That's a, uh, a weird way of doing it, but make sure it's round capped. So I've made it a bit more bold, and then I'm just going to bring this down. Now, this is where it gets controversial in design. Should you ever transform your text like this? No, unless you need to. And I wanted to do it, uh, and it's where I found out to make it look a bit cooler uh, for the project that I'm doing. But, you know, use of caution. Do not transform too much uh, like I just did then. So I've just transformed it down a little bit. I'm going to take the stroke down a little bit as well. And then I'm just going to expand it up, shift and alt at the same time, maybe bring it down a bit again. That looks good there. Now I'm going to have to center this A in the center. But first, I'm going to create this A into, I'm going to stop this A being a live editable text into a shape. And you do this by pressing Command, Shift, and O. Or, and then um, obviously you've still got your stroke around it. That's why it looks strange. So again, I'm just going to go to uh, Path, uh, Outline Stroke. And then with this, I'm just going to go to unify or unite. And that will unite the stroke and the path together. So it's just one shape again. Um, now that is just a bowl. That is just literally a shape player now. So you can't write or change that to any other letter. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to center align uh, this A to this. And the way you do this is I'll select them both. And then when you select again, you just need to press and that will outline the center or the um, outskirts of what you're trying to align the tool. Sorry, let me explain that again. When you select it, you select them both like that. And then if you say you want to outline the A, you would just select the thing that you want to outline it to. Uh, and you want to center it with this, you would just center it like that. So now you're centering the A with the double um, selected uh, hexagon, whatever it's called. Then you go up to your panel up here. Or down here and you just press horizontal and vertical align and it'll align it perfectly uh, in the center of there next thing I'm just gonna highlight them both group them together and we can change the color to whatever we want uh, of the fill and there you go you've basically got your your whole logo there and that's some useful tips for you in Illustrator maybe you've learned something maybe you already know it but I'm happy to help anyway so guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you in my next video uh, see you later.